Hello friends, today I'm going to be trying a summer midge and a very easy part room. So hook is size 14, you use short size 14 and size 16 on this part room. So thread is black. So I'm going to put this thread towards my side of the hook and with my left hand bring this thread around the hook and the front side of the hook and then bring this side left hand downward and then just do about one two turn to lock this thread and then open up the gap as you're going towards the eye to create a nice ribs as you can see and then just that's enough now actually Okay, and I'm going to cut this off. Turn this around. It's a little bit fluffier or anything left over. Just I'm going to use the lighter to burn this off. Okay. <clears throat> now here, what I'll do, I'll kind of give a couple of half hitch to finish off with this thread. I'm going to use black thread all the way and then cut this off. Now the reason I did that I'm going to add a little bit olive color. You need a permanent marker not full olive because it's going to blend in with the two different color. So as you can see black and olive and this is a pro marker you can buy from any craft shop. Uh, it's a pear, sorry, I'm just going to check again. It's pear green. And the number is Y635. Anyway, once you've done that, I'm going to add a bit of a red. Just a few touch. Okay. Now, as you can see, it looks nice color now. Add, if you want to add a UV reasons or varnish I'm just gonna do a single coat until it dries and then I'm gonna give another coat as you can see once you touch it with the varnish all this beautiful color blend in with olive and red mostly it looks like red but once it's dry I'm gonna give probably another coat. So I need to see this. It looks different underwater once you just done that. So after varnishing just put it on the side and let it dry. Okay. Now this one I already done earlier. So this one is completely dried. It looks like you know very plain at the moment and as you, you can see the colors it's just a mixed color like a gold it will turn into a gold color a little bit yellow and all mixed you know anyway so thread again black thread now for the post I'm using number 16 white chlorite and breather so if you take the piece I'm going to fold it once and twice so just bring the loop end towards this side and try to cut this on the top and lift that up and pull this one down side <clears throat> cut this off before you go any further and just use kind of figure of eight to split them up sorry just t take your time again keep them on both sides Oh, 
one, just two about toys. I want these wings to just kind of stay apart, you know. That should be okay. I mean, this fly a tie in like under minutes when I'm tying for myself, but I'm doing it slow so you can see better and understand better, you know. Okay, that's better. Now, are some wax on your thread. And you need a dubbing. Now, this is like a clarity type of dubbing. You can use brown or sooty olive, but this works really well. I mean, not bright red. You can use bright red, but it just like it creates a little hot spot and make sure it's a, this is a synthetic dubbing. Or you can use a haze here if you want. And then go in the front couple of time. As usual, just add nail varnish, very small amount, not too much, onto the thread, pull everything back and give a couple of turns so varnish could go onto the head and then one, two, three, that's enough. Whip finish. Cut this off. Now if you grab these together and just get them size of half of the body. And sorry I touched my light. And then in the front again I'm going to cut this. So as you can see I mean it looks quite okay. If you want to um, get some dubbing out, it's up to you, not too much, to make a little scruffy, just to represent a little, because it's hatching midge, now that should be okay. Now this is very good midge. Uh, this time of year and working really well so there you have it you can spread this um, the wings actually sitting okay anyway a great pattern for this time of year and you can also use olive color and olive dubbing, dubbing as well but this one is working very well so we've been catching nice amount of trout with this one size 14 and 16 and uh, i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching